Welcome to our channel, a channel where we make structural engineering design simple and easy. So once again, I want to appreciate everyone who has subscribed to our channel. I want to appreciate all who have, who have been buying our Prota Structure courses. We appreciate you. The link is still on the description. Please click that link and get yourself one of our course i want to appreciate everyone 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 who has subscribed and those who are still sending us comments we really really appreciate you and today we'll be talking we'll be taking a question from a subscriber sam sake he said is there any need to consider slab load in raw foundation yes in terms of design your your slab load and every other load that will put strain on the structure must be considered must be considered otherwise you will put a section or reinforcement that is not the actual um, reinforcement so if you if you look we have a um, chas rongo chas rongo you didn't tell us where you are commenting from you said is there any important to put wall loads throughout beams since slab self weight partition walls partition walls plus finishing has been included in the slab because load from slab is converted to beam already that is what your question is is there any need to put a um, beam load yes it is very very important to put beam load on a structure if you don't put the beam load on the structure it will not give the actual load and the wall load is a very important load to be considered if you omit that your reinforcement may be too too in in, in, in adequate for the building but if you consider the the wall load then you can adequately take care of it you can adequately take care of it so if you take out if you take out the wall load let me let me do an example to show to you okay if you look at this um model let's say we add our slab 150 come to load come to the extra load you are talking about we do this all this we we add with input it mm -hmm. let's say we save we've saved our work please pay attention there is something i want us to to note so we've we've saved our work but there's no wall load in it there's not even a single wall load in it so we'll come here we'll come here we say load combination let's generate we say okay mm -hmm. let's come here let's save and okay let's run yes okay okay let's let's run
Okay. We run. We are trying to run our analysis. Let's run our analysis. Okay. <clears throat> This is what we are saying. Just give it some time. Yep. Okay, we run an analysis. Okay, so we close. Come to the If you look carefully, if you look carefully, we are having 2y, 2y16, 2y16. Mm, this is now, let's reduce 4y16. So with this now, if you do not put um, wallet and you make provision for 4y16 at support and at span 3y16, 3y16, uh, 3y16, normally it will fly. Let's let's see. This is nine. B nine one B nine one B eight one B seven and at this it will give a two Y sixteen all passed. So now let's consider putting our slab load on it. Edit our wall load on it. Say three point four seven. Say two point seven. We said. Point two three. You say okay. Uh, we know. You say copy. Mm -hmm. And we add. We say paste. Okay. Run our analysis again. Let's run the analysis again. Okay. Give it some time and okay, we say okay. Okay, we say okay, we close. Now we we'll come here to just check. We checked on this before. Now it's telling us that the existing steel is not sufficient. Yes. Let's say yes. If you look carefully, all what we we added as 4y16 is telling us that it is not sufficient. So you see now we have to if we increase Okay, we now have to make it 4y20. 4y20. All this becomes 3. This becomes 4. Okay. 
Okay. So, or if we choose to make it, this becomes five. This becomes six. So this is now let's make this five so if you now look at your if you look at the 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 reinforcement now it has increased so if you do if you omit that you think you are getting lesser reinforcement but it's because some of the loads we are not included so i will beg of you it is very very important include always include your wall loads on your structure otherwise your reinforcement will be less and when the, re the low wall load comes on it it will fail it will fail this is how important that is so this is how Important that is so it's still showing us that instead of y16 before we have two y16 but now it's now four y16 all two y16 before pass but now they are failing two two y16 they all fail so this is the reason why you need to always include wall load so that your actual load that the beam is carrying will be known so if you omit either the if, if there's a beam carrying anything please include every load that will be involved so thank you if you still have any question please send it to us and we'll be glad to answer you and if you are yet to subscribe please hit that subscribe button we are waiting for you